good morning students i am sindhu a nair pgt chemistry from kvnad karanja uh, we had a discussion on surface chemistry in the last class today we are going to discuss chemical kinetics which is an important chapter it's an interesting chapter also uh, there will be two sections part 1 and part 2 this is part 1 chemical kinetics which is a five marks chapter in your board examination so the content which i am going to discuss today is listed on the board first one it is rate then it comes average and instantaneous rate then it comes rate law and rate constant order and molecularity then it comes units of rate constant first we have to we should know what is meant by or what kinetics actually means chemical kinetics in this chapter deals with the rates and mechanisms of chemical reactions this chapter we discuss what are reaction rates and what are the various mechanisms or mechanisms which a particular chemical reaction follows what is meant by rate of a chemical reaction as we all know consider a chemical reaction reactant giving products the rate means the speed with which a chemical reaction takes place depends on either reactants or products which we have studied last year in chemical equilibrium the rate of a chemical reaction or the speed of a chemical reaction can be is equal to either change in concentration of the reactants or it is change in concentration of the products rate of a chemical reaction we are going to start with the rate of the chemical reaction the rate means the speed with which a chemical reaction takes place in simple way if i speak or consider reaction reactant giving product the rate of a chemical reaction can be ex uh, expressed either in terms of reactants or in terms of products students as you know if it is reactant the concentration of the reactants decreases if it is product the concentration of the products decreases increases i mean so the rate is change in concentration change in concentration divided by time i should say change in time but i can speak even time because suppose you are mixing two reactants at 11 o'clock that 11 o'clock is taken as time zero uh, we are observing the chemical reaction from 11 to 11:15 that is the time uh, with which we are observing the chemical reaction from 11 o'clock we take the timing suppose a reaction starts at 11 we call it as zero time 11:5 5 minutes 11:10 10 minutes 11:15 15 minutes i hope you understood what i told so the our time is 15 minutes means in that 15 minutes time gap the initial time always we take it as zero time so the change in concentration with respect to the time time is what the time with which you are observing the chemical reaction or you are measuring the data is it clear to you now change in concentration by time in this case it can be either in terms of reactants or it can be in terms of products if in terms of reactants i will write change always we show as d d r r means concentration of the reactants by dt means change in time 15 minus 0 of course it is 15 only change in concentration by change in time for example you have taken 15 gram of any of the reactants you have started the reaction at 11 o'clock finished at 15 11:15 so your change in concentration your reactant initially it was r0 means initially it was 15 zero indicates it was initial after 15 minutes you have seen that it is it has become 10 grams it was 15 grams it has become 10 grams means the change in concentration is in this case if i write the change in concentration it is 15 minus 10 divided by time it is 15 minutes that is 15 minus 0 this is 15 minutes that is 15 minus 0 that is change in concentration is 10 divided by change in time means time is 15 minutes is it clear to you concentration of the reactant or products always remember as we have done in class 11th we always takes in moles per liter and time normally we take in seconds remember we always takes the concentration in moles per liter a time we take it in seconds this case since the amount of reactants are reducing we write it as minus minus dr by dt means the amount of reactants are 
reducing. It doesn't mean that it is a negative sign, doesn't indicate that it is negative. The quantity is reducing, reactant is converting to product. Initially 15 gram was there, after the reaction there is only 10 gram, yeah, 2 gram, yeah, 3 gram, whatever is left out. So we speak, the amount of reactants are reducing, that is the only meaning of the negative sign. If I write in terms of product, I need to write, this you all know, I need to write rate of the reaction is equal to change in concentration, here it was reactant, there it is product, D product by DT. Suppose there were 15, there was 15 gram of reactants, at the end of the reaction it is only 10 gram, so means it is only 10 gram, I mean reactant is only 10 gram, what does it mean? How much amount of product formed? 5 grams converted to product side. So, the product formed, how much reactant reduced, that much amount of product is being formed. So, I need to write dp by dt as plus because the amount of, con amount of product keep on increasing. I hope it was clear to you. Now, for any chemical reaction which is this given, rate of a chemical reaction, I hope rate of a chemical reaction is a change in concentration of the reactants or products with respect to time. For reactant, if we are writing, taking reactant, we add a negative sign, positive sign, I mean negative sign, because the amount of reactant reduce with respect to time. For products, we add a negative sign, we add a positive sign, because the amount of products increases with respect to time. I hope rate is clear to you. Now, rate normally, we measure rate in two ways. One is average rate measurements. Other one is instantaneous rate measurements. As the term indicates, see there are various methods or modes used for measuring rates of the reaction. The one is average rate method, another one is instantaneous rate method. In average rate method, what we do is a particular time interval we will be taking. So, for, an, for example, your chemical reaction started at 11 o'clock, finished at 11.30. So, I am, I, am, uh, I am writing the, initially your reactant concentration was 20 gram. This was your R, uh, T0, initial time. This is a time after means, this is the last time means the reaction is, we are observing the reaction from 11 to 11.30 or the reaction finished by 11.30 or it reached equilibrium by 11.30, anything it can be. So when 20 gram was there, the time difference, the difference in time is, suppose 11.5 we are measuring, it has become 18 gram, 11.10 you are measuring, it has become 15 gram, 11 uh, 15 you are measuring, it has become 10 gram, like that it is keep on reducing. So, any two time interval you take, any two specific time interval you take, either 5 to 10 or 10 to 15, any two specific time interval you take, sub, it is average rate we write as, we denote it is a change in concentration by change in time, that is only right as we know, but a specific time interval and a specific concentration change we take. Suppose this time interval, 5 to 10 minutes we are taking, so we take eight, 20 minus 18, that is the change in concentration divided by time, that is 11, 10 minus 11, 5. That is the rate with which we calculate, means suppose it is between 11, 10 to 11, 15, Again, the time difference is 5 minutes and the concentration change is 18 minus 15, that is 3 moles per liter. Children, are you following what I am telling? Means a reaction when it starts and when it ends, in between a specific time interval we will be taking and the rate will be calculated with respect to that change in concentration in that time interval. Is that clear to you? Now, average rate is normally denoted as capital delta. So, we in terms of if R giving products, if it is average rate, we write it as rate is equal to dr by dt. We write it as negative because the concentration of the reactants decreases. 
with respect to product if I have to write it is plus delta P by dt delta t this delta indicates a measurement was average rate measurements or the measurement is average way, way, average rate measurements hope it is clear to you now it comes to instantaneous rate in instantaneous rate measurements we measure the rate at a particular instant suppose you want to measure the rate now we have we have taken a time interval I want to measure the rate only at 11, 11, 10 minutes. Means after 10 minutes of the reaction, I want to measure the only rate at this particular instant. Then we call it as instantaneous rate. Rate at a time interval is called average rate. Rate at an instant, a particular instant is called instantaneous rate. Instantaneous rate normally we represent as Normally, we represent instantaneous rate as dr by dt. If it is instantaneous rate, that is minus dr by dt or plus dp by dt. Instead of capital delta, we write d. This is only representation difference. I hope you understood what is the difference between average and instantaneous rate. In average rate measurements, we measure in a particular time interval the rate is being measured. Instantaneous rate, the rate is being measured at a particular moment, particular instant. A particular chemical reaction, you see H2 plus I2, both are gases, giving 2HI. In this reaction, you see, I can write in terms of either reactants or in terms of products. If I write the rate, change in concentration, instantaneous rate I am writing, dH2 by dt, of course negative since it is reactant, which is equal to dI2 by dt, that is again or, I can write it as or, this is again in terms of reactants, so I am writing. Rate we can write either as dH2 by dt or as minus dI2 by dt or plus dHI by dt. But this case you have seen, the rate of consumption of H2 is half of the formation of HI or the formation of HI is double as that of the consumption of H2. So every term where there is a double formation, triple formation, to equate the rate expressions, we have to divide it by the stoichiometric coefficients. For example, D, if I have to equate, rate is equal to minus dH2 by dt, that is equal to minus dI2 by dt, that is equal to plus 1 by 2 dHI by dt then only I can equate it. Now the rate of formation and the rate of consumption has become equal. So in the sense rate of formation and rate of consumption, when we have to equate, we have to divide because this is double it is formed, how much it is consumed is called double HI is formed. So of course we have to divide it by the sociometric coefficients. Students you remember one thing, when any equation is given, the sociometric coefficients to equate the rate expressions, you have to divide the rate term with the sociometric coefficients. Hope it is clear to you. This was a one more question. Uh, write the rate expression or a rate, a rate expression in terms of reactants and products for ammonia manufacture, for HI and all, uh, formation and all, or sulfuric acid manufacture, whatever it is. So hope you will be able to do it. Now it comes to rate low and rate constant. Rate low and rate constant, we have studied law of mass action in class 11th. You hope you remember what is law of mass action. We have studied it in class 11th which states that a rate of a chemical reaction is directly proportional to the product of molar concentration of the reactants which, with which its power is raised by stoichiometric coefficients. Rate of a chemical reaction 
I will write rate is equal to is directly proportional to product of molar concentration of the reactants. Molar concentration of the reactants is H2 and I2 product of molar concentration of the reactants with which their power is raised by stoichiometric coefficients. Here coefficient is 1. So no need of writing H2 raised to 1, I2 raised to 1, it has got no meaning. So the rate according to law of mass action, it was this. So if I replace the proportionality with the equal sign, rate is equal to a constant K, which is called rate constant into H2 raised to 1, I2 raised to 1. Yeah, H2 into I2, that is only enough. This is called a rate equation or rate law for a particular chemical reaction. If I write N2 plus H2 giving 2 NH3, the same thing can be used. See, if I write N2 plus 3 H2 giving 2 NH3, this reaction also we can use, we can use the same rate expression, rate is equal to rate equation I can write N2 equal to K into N2 into H2 raised to 3. This is according to law of mass action. There are two terms with which we have to discuss. One is order and molecularity. So when we write the rate expression, the, it is not necessary that these three and this one, which are stoichiometric coefficients. Here according to law of mass action we have written, it is the concentration terms raised to the power, means the concentration terms are raised by stoichiometric coefficients. But in kinetics, it is not necessary that this 1 and 3 are the stoichiometric coefficients. It can be 1, it can be something else. So generally we write it as concentration of N2 raised to X, H2 raised to Y. X can be 1, cannot be 1, may not.